So here we are in the most expensive street of Europe with the Aston Martin DB12 with me cash in benzini cars. So here we are in the most expensive street of Europe again and this time this generous street has provided me with a new Aston Martin DB12 which I've been trying to get my hands on to do a review of the interior and the exterior but I haven't been lucky to find one in here in Milano and right now this generous street has provided me with one and I'm really really happy to see this car up close because there are a lot of things to talk about and but I'm going to talk about the design features and then the details on this beautiful exterior and then the specifications on the engine so here we are with the Aston Martin DB12 and this is a exterior tour with me cash in Benzini cars so let me start with the design from the side profile which you can see we have this classic Aston Martin arrow shapes with these beautiful streamlines in the back which makes the car so gorgeous and so classy yet it uh, gives you the feeling of sportiness and also the aggressiveness at the same time man this is the new class of uh, Grand Tourers which has been created by Aston Martin this is a super grand tourer and this design is actually translating all of that super grand tourer feelings with all these aggressive lines and ex extreme shapes and I really love the side streak that we have here on the side of the side profile of the DB12 which is a signature of all the DB uh, classes from Aston Martin and in this one it also helps the turbulent air to get uh, out of the view area and also it helps the eye to move uh, forward uh, on the side of the vehicle and it kind of uh, how can I put it for you it kind of attaches all the shapes and the lines on the side when you when you follow the line end line of the side streak you arrive to the this line underneath the side uh, window and then it moves forward and connects to the line over here which creates this beautiful feather shape right, let's uh, talk about the wheels also uh, this Aston Martin DB12 uh, debuts the first uh, Michelin Pilot 5S sport uh, tires <laughs> which is so crazy and it helps the grip on this amazing Super GT and on the side there is not much change uh, compared to the DB11 anymore but right now I just remembered that the side view mirror also is frameless and it actually helps the elegant look of the Aston Martin DB12 and it also helps with the aerodynamics on the side of the vehicle now we move to the back of the vehicle first I saw when I saw this vehicle I really really couldn't distinguish the model uh, I didn't know if it was the DB11 or uh, it was the DB12 I, I really couldn't tell because it's extremely extremely difficult to recognize these two models from each other from the back and you can see here right now that there are so much similarities except that the DB12 is 22 millimeters wider <laughs> than the previous generation the DB11 and it makes the car look looking more wide for sure and it also helps the muscular looking of the back and you can see if I move the camera a little bit higher you can see that that line over there and it comes down over here which becomes so much wide and you have these uh, tires somehow uh, coming out of the body panels a little bit which makes the car look more muscular and more manly and aggressive which is so nice I really love it and as we are here in the back take a look at the details of these panels around the exhaust pipes which are so cool you can see them both here you can see this we have these beautiful textures that has been implemented on these panels around the 
exhaust pipes which is so cool and as we are still here in the back I just recognize this uh, cool detail but I really don't know the functionality of it you can see that we have these little air channels over here in the back which is so cool but I really don't know what they do actually if you know please write down in the comments and help everyone to understand the functionalities of it and now we move to the most beautiful part of any Aston Martin ever created the front profile as you can see this famous grill of Aston Martin which uh, on the DB12 is 54% uh, uh, bigger and uh, this 54% uh, bigger front grille actually helps the cooling and uh, getting the air into the radiators to cool off the 4 liter twin turbocharged V8 engine which makes 680 horsepower and helps this car to do the 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 3.6 seconds with an uh, 8 speed ZF automatic gearbox and <laughs> except all from all these uh, functionalities of this front grille for the engine and cooling off it really really makes the car more classy and also much more beautiful compared to the DB11 one of my problems with the DB11 was always that it was not as classy looking as uh, other Aston Martins before it because the front grille was actually way smaller than a uh, and I really didn't like the styling of the front profile of the DB11 but uh, here except the front grille you can see that we have these beautiful front splitters and they they help the aerodynamics for sure and it also makes the car look uh, more crazy compared to the DB11 and it has to look that way because it's a super grand tourer guys so they did their they did all they could to make this car look more insane and then for sure we have this amazing looking logo from Aston Martin here implemented on the top of the front grille and then we move to the one more beautiful detail in front of the Aston Martin DB12 and which is the headlights just take a look at these insane details that we have on this car which is so crazy look at all those patterns that have been implemented on those panels inside the uh, headlight and we have this six block LED uh, daytime running lights which uh, Aston Martin calls them uh, DRLs dynamic uh, running uh, uh, lights just take a look at this insane patterns man this literally is blowing my mind there is class and classiness everywhere on this car and then we also have these two air vents on top of the hood which help cooling off the V8 engine that is hiding underneath this uh, long hood now we get to hear the engine of the new DB12 <laughs> take a look at this exhaust sound so cool guys that was for the Aston Martin DB12 I also met the owner such a cool guy and apparently I have <laughs> made a lot of videos from his car is <laughs> here in this street like the AMG GTR in the hell man manual color and that is that was so cool such a cool interaction and I will see you in the next one bye bye